Hey, good, good morning to you. Welcome. It's Martin, Jeff, and the Farm Chick coming to you high atop the Eagle Building in beautiful downtown Goodland. Our show each and every week is brought to you by Goodland Sonic Drive-In, Northwest Tech, the insurance agency, Elliott's Home Furnishings, and Eklund's First Insurance. Ladies and gentlemen, to my left, it's the Farm Chick. Good morning, Martin. To my right is our very own cow guy. You, Hi, Marty. You wouldn't miss a uh, Thanksgiving special no, show? No, no, I've, I've probably been to about 20 of these. That's right. <laughs> we used to bring enough food for, uh, yeah. for a Thanksgiving feast for these things. I was kind of, I'm a little little off today, aren't I? Well, knowing how much we're going to have at our house, we probably don't need it. I don't need it. But. You save up all week for Thanksgiving Day, That's don't true. you? No, I don't. I keep. You, you don't? No, you just eat, <laughs> eat so you can get your stomach stretched out so you can eat more. Okay. <laughs> That's I've been another working on, theory. I've been working on that for like 57 years. Yeah. Right. So That's another theory. Me too. That's one way to do it. So here we are. It's uh, the day before Thanksgiving 2016. And what do we have to be thankful for? <laughs> are we going to do that? <laughs> Plenty of things to be thankful oh, for. Oh, uh, you, know, like, you know the weather on Tuesday was just absolutely gorgeous. You know, it rained and it rained. And we didn't get a lot of moisture. But it was great moisture. You know, it was like... Mother Earth just opened up, and Father God just blessed her with lots of moisture. It was great. It was really, really good. Every every drop helps. That's for it sure. It does. It yeah. does. But We've uh, already had, you know, last year we'd already had a big snowstorm by now. Yep. I think I, I think I think by now we'd had two snow days already. I think so. So uh, this has that. been an odd fall in that it's been Sunday we were 70 degrees. Did we make 70 degrees? I don't know. It was, it was pretty warm. warm. It was warm. But, it was um, like sixty-eight or nine, or something, something like that. Yeah. But I don't mind. I, I'm I'm all thumbs up for the moisture, thumbs down for the wind and and the kind of being cold. I'm just so you're a lot of thun, thumbs down days. But I like hands. the moisture, yes. so yeah. I guess we'll take what. Well, if we have to, if we have to live with the wind, we'll live well, with the wind. Yep, it works. It works. But it's uh, it was great weather. I mean, I I kind of enjoyed the uh, the moisture. It was damp and. It was just nice to have. It makes nice me not want to leave the house. Yes. When is mm-hmm. I have Thanksgiving shopping to do, and I have I'm putting it off. It was a great day. Well, now do. not, but I did the day it was. I I, I got out about oh eleven fifteen to go into the store in the middle of the blustery heavy mm-hmm. heaviest rain, and it just ruined my hair. It did. You know, just just totally ruined it. But mm. I'm not complaining. Got the moisture. But it was, you know, if you had to be out and out and in that stuff for any reason, it, on Tuesday that is. But here we are. It's uh, things have calmed down a little bit. Uh, hopefully, it gets more moisture in here soon, because we need it. Oh, we'll here get we drop. We'll get, you know, we just take what we get. So, okay. So cow, uh, cow guy, cow girl. What are you gonna call me? Cow girl. I'm a cow girl. Arm I'll chick. take that. Thanksgiving is your favorite holiday. I do enjoy Thanksgiving. You say that every year. I enjoy it because it's a holiday without a ton of work. In that, I mean, you have to cook and you have to do that, but there's no gifts and not a lot of decorating, not a lot of all that. It's just like one day where you can be with your family, eat some good food, and not have to. I'm not a black, what's it called? Friday? Black Black Friday. Friday. Yeah. Shopper so much so. Do you actually? I like fix Cyber a turkey? Monday. I mean, you don't. You can't get a turkey out of a can, you know. Yeah, I have cooked Thanksgiving dinner a couple times. Really? Martin. I'm not this year because we're going out to the chump's parents. You know, and she'll cook. <laughs> it does a great job. But um, I did Thanksgiving dinner last year. We're just taking turns. You're gonna have okay. a. You're gonna have a Goaty Bow, Oklahoma Thanksgiving dinner, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Yep. And then a neat isn't that a neat we'll name, do name for a town, Goaty Bow. Goaty Bow. She's from Goaty Bow, I think. Well, I don't think Goaty Bow. Pretty close to Goaty Bow. She's pretty close to Goaty Bow. Something like that, yeah. We isn't do. that neat? That's a neat name, Goaty Bow. Is that where they invented the song "I Want to Hit the Pond of Us for Christmas"? There's an ad on TV yes, with that there's song. Yes, there's a commercial. Yes, there, <laughs> I heard. You haven't seen it? No, I heard it in the dis- in mm. the background. Yes, that what song. Is, you know, we about? did it enough on this show that big networks are now using it. Yeah. 
We that's were, why. We, we, yeah. we were the first to start it like 10 yeah. years ago. You know? Yeah. It's a cute commercial. I yeah. Seen so anyway, yeah. Thanksgiving, you know, we'll play our football game in the morning. Oh, okay. That was the next question. We'll You're going to do the our, annual football game. You guys both are invited. I won't. Do, uh, really? I wonder if I'll have a Thanksgiving grandson. morning, you do the... At like 9 a.m., we really? go over to North School. Whoever wants to send their kids over there, we a bunch of friends and family, we go over there and just for an hour, we basically throw the ball around. You know, it's not... I've been I've been to it a couple of times. Yeah. I've so been doing that for about, I want to say, nine years, yeah. ninth year. So yeah. anyway, we'll do that, and then we'll go out and do the thanksgiving thing and that's it uh, you gal guy at your house i can't imagine i can imagine how how wonderful the, the meal is going to be oh it's always good but this year on the menu the main we're we're going to do beef brisket we're mm. on the trager we're grilling brisket on the trager mm. got it set out the other day and, and then uh, not a huge crew this year just one son will be here and one's going back to south of salina with his wife and and then the son that lives in Nebraska, his he won't make it down. He's in the banking institution thing, you know, and they're open on Friday, and so he has to work this Friday. Oh. So uh, his girlfriend's coming in from Indiana, and he told me he was out shopping the other night for Thanksgiving meal, and they are having tacos. 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 That's what she wanted. Hey. Tacos for Thanksgiving. That doesn't sound bad to me. Tacos. Every day's a good day for a taco. Well, I like tacos, but I mean, yeah. just, that's what he was going to make was tacos. Mm-hmm. Turkey tacos? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he's going to make. What kind of tacos? You could. You could do turkey. You so, could. It would actually would be pretty good. We do turkey it? enchiladas with the leftovers. I was going to say, it would like be pretty good. Well, but so when we'll have a lot of other stuff. Like, you know, we've got to have the mashed potatoes, and we get sure. the sweet potatoes, and we do all the salads, and, you know, it, it's good. So I, I do a little bit of cooking myself, you know. I do I'm do. i sure uh, you do. You're a good cook. The oyster dressing. Mm-mm. There's about half, about half the group likes the oyster dressing. That I make. Then this year I'm going. I've got some beets left over from that the deer didn't totally eat. You remember the deer? Yes, the we deer do. and the beets. How can we forget? So I got some leftover beets. We're going to do some Harvard beets. You ever had Harvard beets? No, you haven't. Oh. You don't even know what I'm well, talking I know, about. I like to try some of your beets. I, I actually kind of like beets. I get we got a, a jar of these little round beets. Uh, I don't know. What they're, they're like mini beets. Little pickled beets. Yeah, they're they good. Pickled? Then we got them at. Uh, we were in Colorado Springs, and we went to this store called <laughs> Beats what? and Stuff. No, it's like an organic <laughs> store. You know, it's like and Whole Foods or something like that. Yeah, something like that. But it's it's all it's a lot of organic. I walked in there and just had a ball, and <laughs> it's all organic. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, people, and they're paying like three times as much for organic, sure. ten times, and I'm just sitting there giggling, and and then it's all <laughs> El Natro, and it was warm that day, and this gal walked in in a sundress with lots of tattoos and hairy legs. And I <laughs> sat there, because I like to watch people. Mm-hmm. You know, and she's all natural, and she's buying all non-GMO foods and all, you know, all this organic stuff. And I thought, see, if you eat all that stuff, that's what you turn into, <laughs> right there. You can't shave your legs. I mean, so there's hairy-legged, tattooed woman in this store. I'll think, Trader Joe's, that's the Trader name of Trader Joe's. Uh, sure. Trader Joe's. Now, I've been there it did have some pretty good-looking meat over there, you know, but it's all that... But I just get a kick. People will pay lots and lots of money for something that they're told is better for them. And I'm thinking, mm-hmm. do a little research. It's it's the same stuff. But now, Trader right. Joe's isn't like Whole Foods. It's not totally organic. I don't think it's. I don't know. I don't I think don't it's think completely. So. But they, they carry a lot of stuff that you can't find anywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's kind of an interesting place. But it it's was ridiculous. Interesting You're right. That the people that they're there shopping, you just you want to sit there and watch. I do. Know, I'm just, a people person that likes to watch people. And then talk about them, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, look at that. You know, I'll point at them and I'll tell Marge, look at that one over there. <laughs> Whole Foods is like walking into a Saturday Night Live skit, you know. The way people are acting and looking and talking to the to the fishmonger about stuff, you know. It's just, it's almost nauseating, you know. Mm-hmm. Rarely do you, I bought it. I feel like you have to be really a health nut. Well, it, kind of. I is don't that know if true? it's so much that as it is just. It's Whole Foods. It's the stylish thing to do. Sure. I wanted to. I bought an heirloom tomato. Four dollars for one tomato. Really? That's the only thing I've ever bought at Whole Foods. Was it good? It had. It had that same kind of grocery store twang to it. You know. Huh. I grow heirloom tomatoes. Right. And they are fabulous. But 
Imagine mm-hmm. if you could sell them for four dollars a the tomato. Whole, Martin. whole Foods is no is no different than your standard grocery store vegetable. You it's heard still, it here, folks. It still has that. There's a twa- There's a staleness to it that comes only from a. I don't I'll know bet. I'll bet they'll never sponsor this show. No, they won't. No, they they won't, won't but, sponsor. But I don't it. have to worry about that. <laughs> we'll support our own local grocery oh, store. Oh, I don't right know, here. but it's it's just kind of a, they're a different kind of store and and but I was with this gal that was with the group, and she grew up in Spain. And she was living in Washington, D.C. And she was telling me how hard it is to get good food in Washington, D.C. And, you know, to get the good meat, the good food. And, you know, mm-hmm. so not everybody gets to eat as well as us. Sure. You know, they don't understand food don't. like we do. And and so I understand why some of them don't understand. You know, they, they just don't have the access to good food. Right. So. Yeah. And I think we have plenty of access in the summertime we've got farmers markets and and all our little towns for Mm -hmm. those who want to get homegrown stuff or some of us grow it ourselves but you know the local grocery stores in our towns all serve us well i think and and for a reasonable price yes you know yes so So it's great it's great so Uh, will you make a bird or will you just go with the beef well i don't think we're having dead bird this year Oh, I think I, I think we're having just beef and a ham. Fish? No, not a fish. Oh. A ham. A ham. <laughs> just guessing. But I I don't know. My mother in law though she she kind of likes her she kind of likes her dead bird, so she may bring one out. Right. She just might. It's hard to tell. But. Yeah. It's okay. That's okay. Eat you know. a little dead bird. Now you know. for Christmas, you you got us started with this uh, prime rib prime thing. rib yeah. thing, and yeah. everybody it's just been fantastic. It has so a prime rib, and it's easy year. to cook. Prime ribs really yeah, easy to cook. It really you know? has turned out to be easy to cook. So and it's a good, it's a good piece of meat. Now, my wife doesn't really like prime rib. I don't know. She, she'd rather have mm. a steak or those kind of things. But she will bear along with me and have the prime rib. Do you, you cook know? it fairly uh, pink? Because that's I the like, only way to I, get eat prime ribs. Well, I like you know, and that's neat about cooking a prime rib because your ends ends will be a little more well done and your yeah. centers are more rare and. I like kind of in the center and the rare part. My wife likes uh, more well done stuff. And what's the best way to eat a piece of good beef? What what is? Don't say anything. Medium, you know. Which? How should you order it? I like it medium rare. I think I think the rare the meat, the more flavored. I think if you cook it, you know, I've seen some people cook it well done, and I think they cook all the flavor out of it mm. like that. You know, I I like mine more medium rare. And I think it's that's how I order mine. That's what my dad always little, told yeah. me. The pinker, the better. Tender I think so too. I mean, a, a well done steak is is not as tender. I don't think it's a little chewier. And it, and there's a di- there's difference in your cuts of meat. You know, I mean, you you have your prime beef, and then you have your select, and you know the prime beef's just going to have more marbling to it, and it's going to be a better cut of meat, and cost you a little more. And but marbling is what makes that meat really really good. Mm-hmm. So and well, there is a difference in meat, and. See, when I go, all farmers, I think, especially cattlemen, need to go, when they go to the grocery store with their wife, if they go with their wife, all guys ought to go to the grocery store anywhere and see what food costs and how they do it. But I I always go down the meat aisles. I always check out the different meats and what they're priced at and how they look. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, Walmart really helped the beef market here about two years ago when they started selling choice beef. They didn't always sell that. They had the, the select before. Mm-hmm. Then they went to choice beef. And they have they have a really good. I mean, their their meat at Walmart's now really good. I, I you know what I've noticed that that it's yes, better than it yeah. used yes, to be. Yes, it is. They, you can they buy it. ground beef out there if you have to, and it's not. Yeah, it's, and, and it's better beef than it have to be. The steaks are decent too. Yeah, yeah, and now if you go to Sam's, they have really good meat too. Mm-hmm. I mean, Sam's has. I like to go look at their meat, and it's usually really good. But they, and that's the reason because Sam, Walmart went to a, to choice beef mm. instead of select, and that's mm. that's why. There are some some really nice uh, meat stores out there in some of our small towns. Atwood, uh, is it Grinnell? Yeah. Still mm-hmm. has a uh, there's a little shop up in Ray. Yes. Um, well, and Leota has one, and Scott City has one. Colby, I think Colby's got one. So yeah. I don't know about Colby. Yeah, out on mm-hmm. the highway there. Uh, so you know we we have access to the best meat we've had in a long time it was given to us by my son and daughter-in-law a uh, 4-H yes animal yeah from uh it wasn't from last summer <laughs> that was excellent beef yeah. yeah there's a different there is a you difference know? in beef and, and is it, which prompts me to ask you i mean <laughs> when kids are raising 
animals for show are they are they raising are they raising that animal to be a better better meat better you know yeah that's that's your goal when you go to the fair you want to take your animal is you want to raise a, a good beef animal you know and and that's what's really neat about you know beef or or any ruminant animal they're able to go out and eat grass and take that grass that humans can't consume and it can't be you know usually the ground that they cover is too rough to farm and they can turn that grass into protein to feed humans and that's that's a cool deal Mm -hmm. that a ruminant animal can help feed the world and help conserve the the earth and Mm -hmm. i mean it's a really neat deal in fact the beef animal now all the byproducts that it does we do a better job now than the indians did on using every piece of that beef animal we use it all i mean in pharmaceuticals Mm -hmm. pavement uh my son got stuck on on a big jet airliner one time right by a lady that saw his boots and of course she jumped all over him about being having to do anything with livestock and he says well do you have makeup on well yeah well makeup comes from a beef animal this this uh the tires that we're going to use on this plane to land with, we got to have beef animals to make the byproducts. The asphalt that makes the runways, we had to have the beef animals. If you're a diabetic, all your insulin's made with beef animal from beef animals. And he just went through the whole thing, and she just got so mad <laughs> about it. You know, she just wouldn't talk anymore. But people don't realize it's more than just the meat that we eat and enjoy. The beef animal, you know, serves this whole world, and it all starts because they can go out on grass. And convert that grass through the ruminant system and turn it into protein. Well, now how do you like that story? That's that great. was a good one. You know, I just y- think they taste good. More yeah. more parts <laughs> of the beef are, are being consumed as well. But you ever watch uh, Andrew Zimmern and Bizarre Foods and I, I've like never that. seen that whole show. Uh, there are uh, some of those those shows, of course, in s- some different countries. But even in America, there are places in America that are. You're not it's just beef tongue, but beef heart mm-hmm. and kidneys and and the brain and so forth. They're all being consumed. And it's see, that's one of the like Mexico uses a lot of the beef parts that we don't use. Russia, China, Japan uses a lot. Of the, you know, they've developed a taste for the parts of the animal that we don't really enjoy here. And it's not because, but it's just because it, we're not used to it. Mm-hmm. You know, they take they use a lot of the beef beef uh, parts in other countries that we don't use. Jolly old England has always been big on on organ meat yeah. you know so yeah but we haven't got into it big over here no so i think uh our parents generation probably did a little more i'd be sure they be. eat more might my be. dad loves tongue sandwiches i do too. And I so do too i do too or liver liver uh-huh. mm-hmm. i've had beef heart that's really really pretty good I, yeah you know, so. i think russia is one of the biggest consumers that's all deal on till the day i think russia is one of the biggest ones on liver consumption yeah you know, so Got to keep the trade open with Russia. I don't know that I've ever, <laughs> ever eaten liver. I don't Seriously? think I have. Uh-uh. You have never eaten liver? No. Oh, one of my favorite things, liver and onions. Yeah, really? liver and onions is pretty good. If it's yeah. cooked right, if they don't overdo it. Mm-hmm. Now, sometimes they'll cook the liver too too much, and it's kind of hard. But if they do it, or it's nope, kind of medium. No, I can't say that I've yeah. ever had liver. It's pretty good. My, I think my wife had it once, and it uh, caused her to go into labor. And uh, Oh. So she has never had it since. Yeah. This was 40 years ago, almost. So, you know. I'm willing to bet if you'd feed her liver tonight, she will not go into labor. I'd almost <laughs> make that bet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure <laughs> that that's the case. And <laughs> I may have to edit that part out. No. Anyway, it's it's got a distinct, it fills the house with a wonderful smell or a horrible smell. If it depends yeah. on what you think of liver. Okay. But then, then the other part of Thanksgiving is the pie. My mother uh, yeah. makes a really good pie. You know, she's kind of the pie. She'll bring pie out for our Thanksgiving meal, and and it's always good. Well, I like pumpkin pie a whole bunch. We got a. We're gonna have. I a enjoy pumpkin pecan pie, pie, and I think we're gonna have a custard pie this year. Yeah, I like a custard pie. Those are good, but they're hard yeah. to get. They're hard to find. Well, oh, she makes it from really? scratch. Yeah. Then the other thing that's really good, but you don't have a whole lot of it for Thanksgiving, but. We were talking about grocery stores and all these kind of foods. Is cheese? I love cheese. Yes. There's all these different kinds of cheese. And I don't like all the fancy different kinds of cheeses, though. I can't say that I like that. Oh, I'm you know, pretty there's simple. That, there's that one that one restaurant I go to out in Denver, that Texas Deep Brazilian Steakhouse. Oh yes. They have the salad bar that's like, but they have about 50 different kinds of cheese. I mean, I just 
I don't, I, I'm so full I can't even eat the meat by the time I get done. <laughs> I mean, I just love that all the cheese and the salads and mm. all those neat things, and it's cool. Yeah, making me hungry. I am getting hungry, and we got another day to go. Yeah. My favorite is potatoes. Anything potato. Mash. I think. Oh, I love potatoes. Yes. How about the gravy? You gotta have. I'm not a gravy. I don't eat the gravy. My okay, wife no. so makes fantastic do, gravy. How do you do your potatoes? Mash. See, mashed I help my mom. I'm no, but how do you? What do you put in your mashed potatoes? But lots of butter, lots uh, of milk, lots of sour cream. Che- yes, cheese. Some too. cheese, yes. kind of on top. And, a, but and, a, and the yeah, you use. But cream. you gotta use butter. Yeah. And you gotta use the sour cream and yeah. the butter. See, and that just goes back to the old cow. It takes a cow to make everything really good. Lots of salt and pepper. You know, butter, <laughs> sour cream. Oh, now see, that makes me want to go home and make mashed potatoes. Yeah. That sounds now, great. Now, I had a guy, I bought some fresh potatoes from a guy who brought them from southeast Colorado. And they're, I mean, there is a difference between potatoes. And he brings the fresh <laughs> potatoes right in, and these are fantastic. I really? mean, you can wow. taste the difference in a there fresh potato. There is a potato. restaurant. What did I see it on CBS Sunday morning this week? That's all potatoes. Oh, really? The I entire menu is potatoes really? the desserts have some sort really? of potato in it the yeah i'll have to look that up i would like that all potatoes wow and it's hard to get a good potato at a restaurant yeah seems like you know but to me you can eat a potato for dinner you can just put some bacon mm-hmm. and cheese on it and eat it for dinner that can be a meal mm-hmm. i've started breakfast hash browns come I got, on you want to have this, this conversation yes got this from the movie the martian Oh, I love that movie. I, oh, yeah. For a late-night snack, I'll microwave my little garden potatoes and uh-huh. just dip it in ketchup. Yeah. It's very healthful because it's not fried or anything, and it's really good. Well, and they really were good. saying that back a few years ago, they did this whole carbs are bad diets, mm-hmm. you know, where you're not supposed to eat any carbs, and actually you are. Mm-hmm. You need to eat carbs. Well, you need to eat starches. Potatoes have got so more than that. So potatoes one of the best things, things for like you. Yes. Good for your heart. And I think I'm good. just going to have yeah. some french fries for dinner. <laughs> Okay. I could do that. Potatoes. I like I like french fries. I do too. So our 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 uh, Thanksgiving dinner is pretty much all made from scratch. That's cool. We don't She's even got a couple she's going to do some sweet potatoes with fresh mm. sweet mm. potatoes. Really? You grew sweet potatoes? Yeah. That's the really? I know I, like. I, I didn't grow them. I didn't grow them. No. Oh. No. I I've grown them but not this year. But they're fresh. They're, you know, yeah. store bought but Yeah. You grew you grew some great I I, potatoes, I grow sweet, sweet potatoes. potatoes every summer in the downtown with the, with those edible? I I wonder if those are edible because we do the sweet Let potato. Let me tell part. you, there are a ton. They're of big. Sweet, yes, they're, they're big. Huge. We pull them out of there and they're just yeah. humongous. Yeah. You know, someday I I, somebody needs to cook but those up. What stumps me like. about that is it, it's an ornamental uh, sweet potato plant yeah, that a grows sweet in potato there. vine. Somebody needs That's to find out if they're edible. Well, let's we can cook one next year. Next summer we'll. If we put you, sweet potatoes in, we'll... You take the first bite. Okay. So. okay. I actually was walking down Main Street on Sunday, and there was an old rotten one in one of the pots, <laughs> and I should have brought it in. It's uh, rotten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't... But they get big, yeah, though. They get, no, as big as, yeah. Yeah. And I love those sweet potato plants. They're yeah. Cool. The other thing I'm in charge of is the relish plate. Now, yeah, that I, I can make. I grow... I make my own pickles. <laughs> Can't grow it. Sweet pickles, dill pickles. Wow. Um... Then you gotta have some olives and black olives in there for the kids. And artichokes, stuff. Ar- ar- artichoke hearts. Artichokes, yeah. We had That's that for our t- Italian night. So, but pickled beets. Yes. And let's see what else. The little corn on the cobs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that Tom Hanks ate and big. Yeah. <laughs> those you gotta have those. What, what are, are those, those called? Anyway? The what are little, they called? Little, corns, little corn on the cobs. <laughs> Baby corn on the cobs. <laughs> what are those? I mean, where do they come from? I can't remember anyway. what they're called. Okra. I'd like to see how those are grown. You know? Do you know that the little, <laughs> the little carrots, the little, little Baby bitty carrots? carrots that you get? You know how those are grown? Yeah. They actually are bigger carrots that are filed down into these little nubs. Okay, you know how that started. There's a lot of them wasted. You know how that started? Because yeah. that's a farm. That was a farmer that did that, mm-hmm. and you know they hit in the. The carrots had to be certain size and everything before the stores would buy them. So he'd end up with like 40%, 50% waste. So he made the machine that ground those, and then he sells more of those now than he does the big carrots. Yeah. I mean, a petite. farmer started that. They're yeah. called petite. They're mm-hmm. so convenient. You just buy the bag, and you take them out, yeah. and you eat them. You know? mm-hmm. you and know they're kind of delicious. They are good. But I, I, grow, I grow carrots, too. we got a great carrot crop this year, and there's a big difference in the flavor, i got to tell you that, just like anything else. But... So we'll have. No, Josh, we'll we're acting like all that Thanksgiving's about is food. Yeah. It is. Oh, and the Dallas Cowboys, you know, 
I have a daughter-in-law that's a big Dallas Cowboy fan, and of course we're kind of Bear fans, and we're having a horrible season, and they've won like nine in a row. Yeah, I many guys do quarterback. I've kind of so kind of be, rooting for them, you know. So, but she'll be a long ways away, so I want to hear her telling me all about <laughs> Dallas Cowboys. But and she's even puts Dallas Cowboy stuff on my grandson. <laughs> There's Dallas Cowboy stuff on my grandson, and I my. just, you know, I'm being pretty nice, but <laughs> one of these days she's going to slip out of the house, and she's going to come back, and he's going to have a bear hat. He's going to have a bear shirt. He's going to have bear shorts and a bear <laughs> I believe feet, it. you know. I believe it. That, that, the only thing worse than that happening is if, if anybody puts a Kansas City Chiefs shirt on one no of my kids. Kidding. I will have it immediately removed and destroyed. Yeah. Jeez. Angry gardener. Oh. <laughs> Angry. <laughs> don't pick plant your potatoes yet. And don't no. put Chiefs stuff don't on my Chiefs grandson. <laughs> they did. Uh, they did put a Nebraska shirt on one of them one year, and Is uh, that, I, I'm kind of, I kind of root right for Nebraska. That. I'm okay right with Nebraska. That. Yeah. Okay. But they're K-State people, so it was a little tough. Yeah. For a while. I bet. I bet. So, well, we got a couple of minutes left. Uh, any other? Thanksgiving thoughts. Well, be thankful for living in this country. It's just a good exercise to just be a grateful person. I believe that. It's always so I, I tell my kids there's always someone who has more than you and there's always someone who has less than you. I guarantee it. So just be happy where you're right. at, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. Always just gotta have a lot of joy. You know, you need to you need to find joy in everything that you do because it's there. And sometimes we don't, you know, there's that old thing, we don't stop and smell the roses sometimes because we all get too busy and stuff. But I just, you know, if you, there's a there's joy in everything that happens to you all through the day. And there's this little short man that came across the ocean this summer. He had this little white robe on. And mm-hmm. he talked about joy. I remember him. And, you know, that's a really good thing. You know, that was one of the biggest things he's talked about is joy. And Thanksgiving, we need to find joy in everything that we have. We just be thankful for who's there and who's not there and who will be there next year. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like you. I think it's one of my favorite uh, holidays, and uh, especially f- to be with family. Not going to have everybody here, only about right. half of them. But well, it's like good you. preparation for the holiday yeah. season. It's it's a time to start thinking Christ- about it. And Christmas gets a little little wild and crazy. You know, it does. It, that's it, what it's I mean. Like two or Christmas three is, different Christmases. This is, the, this is like the calm before <laughs> <laughs> the storm of the holiday season, which I enjoy. I enjoy the holiday season, but remember your mamas and your households that do all the. You know, I'm already thinking of lists and all mm-hmm. the stuff you have to do. So that's all right. It does. Christmas gets a little commercialized. It does. A lot of presents, and if you don't do presents, so. but Thanksgiving's wonderful. We just get to show up and eat. And Did you ever go to simple. over the river and through the woods to Grandma's house when you were a kid? Yeah, because my grandparents lived in eastern Kansas, and we'd go see them sometimes. And then, but then I was here, they were here. Mm-hmm. But you know, as your kids get older, you know, when it happened to our family, they get into sports, and you have to stay really close. To you home. do, yeah. You, you know, do. So, but our grandparents, my kids' grandparents, were all close. But I didn't get back to see my grandparents as much as I should have when I got into high school because yeah. you had wrestling. And we did a few times there. They they came here. And, it's always a good time. Hey, thanks for coming in, and have a happy, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. God bless us all. God bless oh, that's, us, everyone. That's Christmas. Oh, darn that's, it. That's okay. And we'll be back with any luck at all next week on Martin, Jeff, and the Farm Chick. High atop the Eagle Building in beautiful downtown Goodland. Our show brought to you by Eklund's First Insurance, Elliott's Home Furnishings, Goodland Sonic Drive-In, The Insurance Agency, and Northwest Tech here on Eagle Cable Channel 10 and KLOE AM radio, as well as the World Wide Web. So thanks for tuning in, and again, everybody have a fantastic Thanksgiving day. We'll see you next week.